Hello, welcome to Everything with Dofan. So, um, this morning I woke up and I did a video that I said that the revelation I received over the death of uh, Kandugure Ginibi, popularly known as Ginibi. Some people call him Ginibi, some people call him Ginibi. To start with, nobody wants poverty. Me, I hate poverty. I pray against poverty every day. Am I poor? No, I'm not poor, but I want to be stinkingly rich. But I'll wait for my own time. And uh, Africans, we behave as if we don't understand this thing. Except that people that are coming on my page to make complaint that uh, things like Beyonce and Jay-Z have money, they have not died. Some people do not have the heart to continue with the sacrifice. Some people have the heart to continue with the sacrifice. And I am going to show you in this video, this research I'm going to do, to show you that indeed, Jinibi belongs to this particular Krishna uh, cult of power, rich, uh, of power, fame, and riches. He indeed belongs to it. And the cult members even put out a statement for him. It was not hidden. It was in plain sight. It's just that we didn't bother to look at it. But you know, it's normal. Some people say, Dubi, why don't you research my poverty? Why do you have to research my, my wealth? Uh, if he had not died, nobody was even going to research it. But when he died mysteriously, and mysterious things began to happen, all of us were pain. It's out of pain that we began to do this investigation. And we are doing this investigation so that we can enlighten our people and our uh, children so that they don't for pray to some of those things i want to believe that jinibi has a very good heart when you see him he's a bubbling guy i don't know him personally but from uh from from watching someone from afar and the kind of post they do and some other things you know that they are good people jinibi will not kill any of his parents or any of his siblings for this thing but when you get to some level blood sacrifice are required so I think it got to a point that he couldn't do it. Uh, if this money is going to bring me pain, then I'd rather go myself. I will want to believe it's like that. I'm not saying that that is what the situation is. But if you see Ginibi, you will know that I don't know him. But from his gestures, philanthropies, and the research I have done, and his workers coming out to say something, I know that this guy was a genuinely good person that was desperate. He started looking at money at 17. My, sto my story somehow connects with him. I started looking for money at 8. Up till now, the level that I think I would have been in life, I am not there. I am not poor, but I'm not there. And it worries me at times. And I believe that most young people, they get to a point in their life, they'll be like, okay, it's as if this thing cannot come genuinely. Let's add some, um, I cannot get it. Let's add some luck here and there. And he fell into bad hand. And I am going to show you he fell into bad hand. Because this particular cult, they say that they don't take young life or blood. But we are going to get there. Let's start from you before saying that he was not in a cult. He was in a cult. It was in a playing ground. He never hid it. And he's dead now. We can still see that he belongs to a cult. And this cult is cult of fame, wealth, and riches. Those are the things they boast in. We have some Nigerians that belong in this cult as well. So let's dig deeper and see what I am talking about. Uh, this is Ginibi's official uh, Facebook account. Gan uh, Kadunguri Jinibi, genius, businessman, trendsetter, genius, all wise, philanthropist, chairman of Pico Trading Holdings. So this is his official page. So let's move to um, Jinibi's posts and let's see um, the post that he posted himself before he died this is the one he said now living the good life so let's go to the people that he has tagged he has tagged some people here so let's go to uh the other five that he has tagged can you see krishna daniel here this is krishna daniel when you see this krishna daniel did you see that grandmaster of krishna cult of riches power and fame he lives in akara akara ghana can you see it Okay, these people are not even hiding what they are doing. They are even boastful about it. That is post one. Let's move to post two. This is it. Go to the other four more people that Jinibi has tagged. Okay, see, Krishna Daniel is here. 
Can you see Krishna Daniel, Grandmaster of Krishna Cult of Riches, Power and Fame? Can you see it? Yeah, that is it. And I feel like they were doing publicity. And Genevieve's date is actually to show you that it's better for you to have money for a short period of time. Enjoy life than be poor for 100 years, 120 and die. And that is what they are promoting. Though it's early, uh, what I'm alleging, they have come out to debunk that. You can see here too, he has tagged him. Okay, let's check the other four or five people that Genevieve had has tagged. This is Kaima, which is Momfa. Momfa, if you know Momfa, is one of the big Nigerian guys. He's based in Dubai. You know, he's into Biru the Change. This is Momfa, Skyman. See you at Momfa Biru the Change. Lives in uh, United Emirate, uh, uh, United Arab Emirates. Okay, so uh, let's check this Bonnie Richie. See, this is Bonnie Richie. So let's go to Bonnie Richie's page and, and see. This is their lifestyle. They are all connected to this particular cult. This is it. See him. Can you see the, the, the same lifestyle that Ginibi is, li is living? Can you can you see him? Can you see him? You see cars, uh, whatever. It's the same lifestyle. The same lifestyle that they re they live. And they all belong to the cult. And let me show you. He too, he has tagged four people. Let's go to the four people that he has tagged. He has tagged um, Prince Hamilton and four other people. So let's go to the others and you will see. Can you see Krishna Daniel here? Can you see Krishna Daniel here? So when we talk, we are not just talking to spoil people's name. We know what we are talking about. So let's go back and pick the fourth person that is, is, is on Ginibi's top friends list. Or oh, the people he has tagged, the four people he has tagged. Let's pick Monfa because Monfa is a Nigerian. So many people say that. Go and talk about Nigeria. Don't talk about uh, Zimbabwe. So this is Monfa. In fact, most of these guys are this Derry Justin. I don't know, but this Olu Kelvin. He belongs to the cult as well. He is a Nigerian. And then this is uh, Monfa. Monfa is someone I used to follow on Facebook. In fact, I have even asked him to sponsor one of my events before. You know, because I believe that someone that deals in uh, 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 Biru the change should be multi-rich. And I believe that his money was genuine. And if you check my video, when he was arrested in Nigeria, I was like, if his money is not genuine, I will give up. Because he's one of the people that I believe does not live fake life. And these guys do not really live fake life. They have this money. But where is the money? coming from is the thing and people can make money genuinely okay so let's go to mom first page let's go to mom first page immediately i saw this i know his wife so i was like that's mom first wife so that means that mom first too belongs to this particular cult you see this is the kind of life all of them lived this is the kind of life they are living mom first calls himself a sky man so uh let's go to mom first and see what mom first has and the kind of friends he have. Do you see? Can you see? It's the same lifestyle they are living. Monfa just recently deleted all his pictures on Facebook. This is Monfa's children. Do you see them living life that nobody will even want to live? Uh, nobody of our age can live it. It's nice. We want it. But what we are saying is that this guy belongs to everything. Everything that they are doing. If you see Monfa now, all these guys, if you check them now, they belong to the cult. I have done my research. So let's see four people that Monfa has tagged. You can see, okay, this is not Monfa uh, that tagged this one. This is Ike Chuku Ogbonna, which is also a Nigerian. So Nigerians are in this in this thing too. It's not just um it's not just uh, Monfa is somehow trying to, to be smart. <laughs> he always tries to be smart you know these are all mom fast friends and you can see them when you go to their post this one this Derry hamilton this is uh, Derry justin one of it go to him and see how many people he has tagged they are even removing uh, the guy they are even removing the guy now they like when i did the research they were all there so let's go back to genie b which is the main thing that we are talking about today let's go back to Genibi and then check check from his tags this krishna daniel that he tagged let's see what krishna daniel had to say about Genibi's death mm -hmm. five others that he has tagged this is krishna daniel so let's go to the grandmaster's page 
this is the grandmaster's face uh, facebook page this is the person that all of them were tagging in my video if you watch the video the revelation of jinibi and you're insulting me this is what i saw that you did not see this is the person this is krishna daniel lord krishna that's how they call him his number is there they are based on on, on they are based in accra ghana and lombo estate that's what you see it's there they, they are doing adverts they are not hiding anything they are doing adverts i saw a message that they came to give Okay, this is after Jinibi's death, and a lot of people came out to accuse the court that the court is the one that is killing people. This is what they came out to say. For many years now, Krishna Cult of Riches, Power and Fame has been the most powerful and respected fraternity, making it one of the best secret society in the world. Our main aim is to eradicate poverty and help people who want to keep their head above waters. We protect our members, protect what is there and precious to them. The well-being of our members and their family is something we don't joke about. We protect them both spiritually and physically. This was when the allegations were going on that they were the one that killed Jinibi. I'm sure maybe the members were beginning to say that you promised us that we will not die young. Why did Jinibi die? Because I discovered that among the, the the, the, the cult members look at them here look at them here those are all of them when you go there you see that they belong to the cult and all of them have posted the cult shrine on their pages just check them take your time and check them look at them most of them are nigerian Ghanaians and zimbabweans and south africans look at it you can see jinibi is here you can see jinibi is there mm, yeah that's jinibi you know, those are, those are some of the cult members. I believe they have gone back and they started fighting him. That is why necessitate this, uh, this, um, this press release that they released on the 13th of November. So look at it. They are not hiding this thing. They are not. And this is in defense. In, in the, they are defending themselves against the death of Jinibi. And you will see that they mention Jinibi's name. Say so for many years now, Krishna Cult of Riches, Power and Fame has been the most powerful and respected fraternity, making it one of the best secret society in the world. Our main aim is to eradicate poverty and help people who want to keep their head above waters. We protect our members, protect what is there and precious to them. The well-being of our members and their families is something we don't joke about. We protect them both spiritually and physically. We have never forced early death on anyone as a precondition and we don't use humans for sacrifice we make sure our members live a comfortable life which does not put their lives and that of their families in danger there has been some rumor on the internet which i have been called to explain to the world on the 8th of november 2020 there was a tragic incident which caused the fall of a beloved brother may his soul rest in peace in perfect peace i am here to clarify that his death is a natural death and there is nothing spiritually about it death is there for everyone and therefore we will all face it one day to break the circle of poverty we need to do better as a society the colonization of the mind is a terrible thing please may we gather little humanity we have left in us to give this legend a grand sent off with respect to his friends and family during this difficult time as we mourn we guide him and his legacy jealously and we protect his loved ones from all the darkness threatening his light few years on earth put some respect on his name we also wish to express our condolences to all the families our heart pour out to you sorry for your loss may the families find comfort in these difficult times you know and the members came in here and you can see that we have 22 comments this guy has a lot of followers but people do not comment and i think that one of their this thing is like you must okay let's just go down on his page before i can leave so that you shouldn't be like okay so you can see this is it change change your life Changing your life is never easy. In fact, at times it's downright painful. I don't want to advertise them, but you guys have asked. So this is it. You can see it. You can see it. This is it. And when you check all their pages, those people have sent you will see this their shrine there with the money and uh, the person lying there. I think that is in initiation also. You can see it. 
you could see it this is it so it's not as if we are saying something to destroy jimmy b or we are just saying something that we don't know it's here it's here look at all of them look at all of them <laughs> money money guys money guys we never hustle enough look at them and they are young young boys this is blay amore monster look at him cute boy with so much money can you see him so let's look at the five other people he has uh, tagged can you see can you see krishna daniel here so we are we are not saying what we did not research or what we just sit and we are talking about you can see that even the cult acknowledged that guinebi was their beloved brother that means that he was a cultist uh whether the court killed him they say they don't kill so that is another boy game but he died mysteriously and we are not searching people when they have money when jinibi was around was alive nobody even asked him how was he making his money you know because we know that he was into oil and gas and when you're into oil and gas naturally me i feel that there are some businesses that give you money whether you like it or not and i felt this was one of it even when he died and people started talking about this thing from the beginning i didn't say anything but a little research will show you that uh Ginibi was in a cult and you can see that the cult official page even owned him and claim him as his brother and they felt the need to come out and say that they are called do not kill having said that this is where i go do let me know what you think in the comment section my zimbabwean brothers we are not fighting okay we are not fighting we are just doing research and if you feel this is okay these people are on facebook you can go and join them as well but what we are saying that this is wrong you will die and there is life after death nobody should deceive you there is life after death after judgment where will you be do you know the bible said that what will it profit a man to gain the entire world and loses his life i am not saying jinibi has lost his life or he's in hellfire i'm going to do a video because i saw him in my dream i'm going to say what i have continually see i'm not going to say but what i have seen i have seen it because this jinibi's death really touched me because i saw him like someone that is is human is is the nice person and for him to die that's why i began to do it we have a lot of people that have died like that we have a guy that died in um trinidad that they buried him with gold and everything i didn't do story about him you know he was a gunman he was a gangster according to what people say you know but jinibi's death somehow touched me deeply for days i couldn't sleep i was like how can this guy just die because he was doing fantastic job you know but uh the lord knows best and all we can pray is that we pray that he stays in he stay well but please make good choices make good choices i'm begging you in the name of jesus make good choices i love you all i will see you again when i see you bye bye